I did an experiment with alcohol blending solution and UV archival recently, and I thought I would take it another step further. Since this already has some of the UV archival spray, can I do some more alcohol inks, like effects on top of it? So that's what I'm gonna play with today. I don't know. This is something I wanna try out. This is Claire Lawrence, and today I want to do this experiment one step further. Um, I had somebody make a comment on one of my videos and was wondering about blending solution and whether or not the alcohol link would reactivate when you put the UV archival mask spray on it. Well, now that this has a good coating of the archival spray, I wanted to see if I can do some other alcohol ink effects on top of it continuing to use blending solution but what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some some brass and i'm thinking of uh doing some diluted uh, brass as well as maybe some uh more of a full intensity brass and also play with some of this from marabou is the uh, rainbow one which is very i don't even know if you could see it in here but it's a very fine like well, like a rainbow glitter. You can kind of see it on the outside of the bottle with the sparkles and stuff. So I'm going to do that on top of this guy and see if I can um, push it a little bit further. All right, let me get set up. Okay, got this guy set up. And what I'm going to do here is I've just got my trusty paper plate. This is one of those that is lined and it's a little bit heavier. Um, so it can take playing with some alcohol ink on here and it won't seep through on the bottom. So it's my fancy dancy palettes. Well, let's just say they're fancy, <laughs> but also palettes. <laughs> it works. Okay, so I'm using Pinata Brass, which has a tendency to be a little bit, I don't know, when you look at it, it almost looks like um, little firecrackers or fireworks exploding in the background, which is really cool. And then what I'm gonna do is I got a couple drops of this. Bring it a little tighter. And I'm just gonna dilute it down with some of the, the blending solution here. So it's kind of on the thin side and that's okay. And then I've got a brush here. I don't know if you can, you can see how light it is there when you just kind of brush it around. So it gives you the hint of brass without it being too strong. So I'm just gonna kind of mess it around a little bit. And I wanna see if it, one, if it reactivates the purple and two, just how it behaves. So I am doing it like I would do normally, and let's see what happens. Brass definitely shows up stronger on the really rich purple. Pull my little triangles out. Stabilize that a little bit. So far, I'm not getting picking up any purple on my, oops, I'm zoomed into, oh crap. I've been really zoomed in this whole time. Uh-oh. Okay, so I've done all this painting. <laughs> crap. <laughs> and as you can tell, 
on the purple, it really, really shows up. And on the white, it's a little bit more on the strong side. But what I'm not getting is purple residue on my brush, which is really cool. Because I'm literally, I'm picking it up and putting it down and adding, adding more copper, or I'm sorry, the brass to it. And I'm not getting, oh, that time I got some purple. I just went over a same area again and I put a lot more down on it. So, hmm, maybe that's something to it right there. So let me try and do that again. So if I put a lot more of the blending solution, will I get more of the purple? Yes. Okay, so faint amounts doesn't seem to reactivate it, but a large amount does. Okay. So I'm gonna put a larger amount over here. Let's see what happens. Probably get some more. Yes. Okay. Now let's mess with the rainbow a little bit. Wait, let me get a paper towel real quick. And I'm gonna put some of this into a cup just to kind of clean off my brush a little bit. Now I'm sure with the rainbow, it's gonna do the same thing as the brass, meaning um, the more blending solution you get in that area, the more it'll reactivate. However, I'm gonna do something different with the rainbow stuff. I mean, I just poured that in, can you see? Okay, I'm gonna try and zoom in again and be a good girl. And I'll zoom out right there. Can you see how that's like all shimmery? I hope it is coming out on video. Okay, I'm gonna zoom back out. All right. And what I'm gonna do is just simply pick some of this up with a brush and we're gonna go and put some of this glittery madness on our purple. And again, it really shows up on the purple versus the clear, I would say. And that is definitely reactivating and that's just straight up the Malibu stuff. But I'm just gonna go ahead and keep on playing because why not? That's kind of the whole point of this, right? What's kind of cool is that I am getting, when I'm getting some of the purple, I can actually paint with some of the purple too, back on top. If I want to. Yeah, that's definitely reactivating. but it's drying super nice. I'll bring it in on close up so you can see how it's drying. Y'all see me use uh, some of the resin art stuff with uh, alcohol inks. Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. But they only have the one color here, whereas resin art has a whole slew of colors to play with. I'm almost done with this. Put some on top of the brass here. know why but the smell of this stuff kind of reminds me of super glue it's 
See how it's removing some of that right there? But I can also use it to kind of blend a little bit. So make it work to your advantage. All right, so the more it's resting there, the more it's reactivating. Okay, let me dry this off real quick. solution right now. Let's see what we can do here. I'm seeing how far down I can take it back to white just because I want to I'm curious so this isn't a masterpiece this is just an experiment So this could be a good thing, meaning to add a little bit of feet, a little bit of um, brass or an effect later on on a piece. It's like you know this piece is screaming, you know this or that. So it's not too late to add it. I might get this at an angle. Let's see, let's see if I can get it right in there where it has that blue shimmer to it. That's the rainbow doing that. That's really pretty. I don't know if that was showing up on camera or not, but it's definitely showing up now. So in the brass did really pretty with one swipe. It was giving me all this nice little effect and blend out. But when I kept working it, it eventually would reactivate and start pulling away. However, it's still not looking. Let me zoom in a little bit. Try to zoom. Doing this through gloves. That's not working. I think. There we go. Ah, sorry. So just by brushing it over, it was adding a little bit of gold to it and doing rather well. But as soon as you start working with it, like I was working that a little bit, it started picking up the colors underneath it. But just by swiping it across, and you see this area I didn't mess with, it did really, really well. And this here had a couple of passes, and then it started to reactivate right there. So if you want to just go and add like that, right in there and right in here, it did fine. So I think you can work and still play with it without it affecting your piece. But you have to be very mindful that when you go back over it, you can manipulate it more. Now, but that's also a bonus option if you wanted to. Like, you know, maybe it was too dark over there and you wanted to lighten it up. Or, you know what I mean, getting that. Or like, oh, I shouldn't have put that gold there and I need to remove it. You can reactivate and start working it up again. So, anyway, let's see, get back down. Oop, not that one. Ink. There we go. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy with that experiment. That was fun. 
Here, bear with me for a second. I started moving this around and it started really showing the shimmer. So I'm gonna get in this light area. You see, this is the rainbow pretty much. It's got a little hints of the brass in there. And then that middle zone is the brass. So you can really start seeing it when you move it around. That's pretty slick. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video. Later, y'all.